My name's Martin from Prince Potty. What we're going to be showing you in this video is how to install or replace the waste pads in an XP950. This also covers an XP900 and 960. We're going to just show you the simple way to access the waste pad holder and change those pads so that you can reset the waste counter and get your printer back up and running again. Okay, with the XP950, 900 and 960, the waste ink pads are actually really easy to get to. They're actually located in the front right hand area just here. So what we're going to do is slide this corner of the printer out to expose these two screws and this area here which is the pad holder. To make sure that the printer doesn't fall onto the floor and uh, hit me in the head, what I've done is put a couple of reams of paper as a counterweight on the corner, the opposite corner to this, so down this end, over here, just so that the printer is well balanced. It's not gonna fall off without somebody leaning on it now anyway, but it's even less likely to now, okay? Now, once I've done that, the other thing you're actually gonna need is a set of replacement pads. Now we have a set that we sell called um, the XP4 printer pad set from Print Potty. Um, they are compatible with part 160740. Okay, you don't really need to know that. It's XP 900, 950, 960. Okay, but in your pack comes a carrier sheet which holds all of the pads, there we go, all of the pads that are required for your pad holder. As you can see, nice low profile package so it means it will go through your letterbox or mailbox or whatever um, and just to note because the thickness of the pads can vary somewhat we also sometimes include what are called optional pads these are only ever included if you need them to fill out any um, gaps that appear in between the whole pad as a set if they're not there chances are they were never needed but let us know if you find that they, they were okay so there's our set. What we're going to do now is just put those to one side. We're going to go and access the pad holder and get the old pads out. So to do that, before I do anything else, I am going to put a glove on. Two gloves is feasible. You should have um, a pair unless you've opted out, but I'd recommend at least one glove. Then what you do is you come down to where the pad holder is located, down here. Now, as you can see, I put a piece of tape or a sticker over this section here to hold the pad holder in place while I'm removing the screws. If I didn't do that, the pad holder would drop out. And if it's full of waste ink or overflowing with waste ink, that could mean ink spattering everywhere. Obviously not ideal. Okay, so the tape's there. What we're now going to do is remove our screws. So there's one here. Put that one somewhere safe on the side there and remove the other one now just to be on the safe side before I release that screw there I'm going to make sure that at least one of my hands or digits is holding that pad holder in place okay now I can remove a bit of tape there and gently let that drop out now remember this is going to be filled with waste ink. So the last thing you want to be doing is dropping it like that and have it go everywhere. What you want to do is take that, find a space, probably your sink or whatever, and get it emptied into a bag or something like that, okay? Now these pads are pretty dry. We've had them in there for a while. Now to remove the pads, you may need a screwdriver or something like that. But what we're gonna do is just Take these out, stick them onto a bit of kitchen towel that we've got lying around. Have a plastic bag nearby or whatever, but take the pads out and get rid of those. Okay. So once you've got the pads out, I'd recommend you dispose of them straight away in your outside garbage or bin. Don't put them in a, a bin in the house because they may leak. Um, any ink into uh, the kitchen or the living room or onto your carpet. Definitely not a good idea. So get them outside and in the bin or garbage or whatever as soon as possible, okay? Once you've done that, just get yourself a bit of kitchen towel like this. 
and just wipe the inside of your pad holder with your gloved hand. Okay, that's now sorted. So now that we've done that, we need to replace the pads. So, part number three, in reverse order, goes in just there. Parts two, and in this case, the optional parts as well, will go in the center. What we're gonna do is build it up as a block, like this. One, two, three. And then our last pad goes like that. So once you've done all of that, you can see, I'll take that out, put it all together. Get it all more or less lined up. And then, and then slot that into the pad holder like so. It's now time to replace it in the printer. So, reversing the process we put in earlier, put your pad holder and lock back in there, get your label, or your bit of sticky tape, make sure it's good and secure, then get screw number one, um, now, there are little, if you look very carefully, you won't be able to see them on the video, but there are two bits, two holes in the holder. One of them is just a, a hole with a, a tab or a little a bump, which helps get it in the right position. And the other one is your screw hole. So make sure you put it in the right one. That's the one furthest over to the right there. So once I've got that, that's in. And the same again on the screw hole at the rear. Okay, so again, screw it back in. Make sure it's good and tight. Okay, that's now back in position. No movement, so I can remove that bit of tape that's holding it in place. And that is all you need to do to replace the waste pads in an XP950, 900 and a 960. Once you've done that, move your printer back over to the side or back onto the table properly. Remove your counterweight and any other bits of paper and waste. And this can now be recycled along with the other packaging. Once you've done this, it's now time to reset the waste counter if you haven't done already. It doesn't matter if you reset it before you've changed the pads, as long as it wasn't months ago. Okay, so resetting the waste counter is the thing that clears the error that you'll be seeing on there about waste pads or service required, okay? So that's it. That is the pad replacement or the waste pad replacement for an XP950 using the printer potty, printer pad set, XP4. Now, for the eagle-eyed among you, you may have noticed that we have a tube coming out of this particular printer. That's because this demo model, we have actually um, fitted an external waste tank, which we call just the printer potty, because you're potty training your inkjet printer. This is an external waste tank, and all of the waste ink is actually going into this. So for this particular printer, changing the waste pads is a waste of time, because none of it will ever reach there. But if you haven't got something like this installed, changing the pads is definitely the way to go, nice and easy and doesn't take up any extra space. If you're wasting a lot of ink, you're doing a lot of printing, and you're seeing this error come up repeatedly, um, then something like the printer potty is definitely worth considering. If you need any more information, please check the description below. And obviously, if you liked the video, found it useful, please give us a like, thumbs up, and please tell your friends, especially if they have this particular model of printer and are coming up with this particular problem. We'd like to keep as many of these printers out of landfill for as long as possible if we can. Great. Thanks for watching.